All right, welcome to Snarly Illustration once again. It's sketching with dad, drawing with dad. Here we go. Uh, I've got another one of my kids with me. Want to introduce yourself, kid, child? <laughs> I'm Anna. Hey, guys. This is Anna. She's my 16-year-old. And today we're sketching Nate Bargatze. He is one of our uh, favorite comedians that we just discovered. And uh, I'm going to just be real honest. Um, it seems like all my friends knew about Nate Bargatze. And I discovered him because he was in town recently in Salt Lake. And... Everyone went and posted it on their Facebook, and I was like, who's this guy? They say he's so funny. And then uh, he had a, a Netflix special, we watched it, and I was like, whoa, this, this guy, this guy is, is, funny. is really good. And you know the thing that was cool, and I, and I love that we're doing this together, who introduced him for his show? Do you remember? His daughter. His daughter did. Both of his specials on Netflix, his daughter introduces him. And uh, all of his comedy is, you know, just perfect for the whole family, so I really like that. Anyway, so we really like Nate Bargetsy. Shout out. Uh, hope you like your sketch if you ever uh, take a look at this. And I'm, I'm sure you will. I'm sure you'll be yeah, sending of letters of course. pretty soon. Who's not um, seeing this? I'm pretty sure the world is seeing it by now. It's true. Uh, let's talk about what's going on, on the screen. What are you noticing here? What's, uh, what's your mind taking in? There's some shapes. Sure. And he looks very joyful. Yeah. Well, you're looking at his picture, but I'm, look at I'm, what I'm no, drawing. I, well, I'm looking at the drawing as well. Okay, so look and at what I'm drawing. And in the drawing, very joyful lines. Okay, sure. Yeah. Well, he's a comedian. He's He makes people laugh, right? He's got, he's got a good smile. Sometimes joy, comedians aren't joyful. That's true, but he, he seems like a pretty joyful, joyful guy. Um, I'm, I'm drawing things in really light. Everyone that I ever talked to about, you know, drawing a caricature, uh, or any time really, just draw in your subject super light. I actually, when I'm drawing on paper, I have a different pencil that is impossible to draw dark with, and then I draw it over that. So I can show you that later. Uh, but uh, yeah, just draw in super light. Make sure that uh, you have your lines where you want them. Explore, right? Yeah. And, uh, and then just go for it, right? Here I am just kind of putting in space, I'm marking space for features, so the eyes, right? When you look at Nate Bargetsy, and he even mentions this in one of his comedy routines, like he's got these like eyes. I mean, everyone's got eyes, but <laughs> he's got like very noticeable uh, eyes, right? When you look at They're him, very you go, distinct. you have eyes. Like, well, yeah, yeah. You notice it. You notice his eyes. They're, yeah. They're, that's one of the features that I'm like, yeah, let's make sure that we get that right. So we'll just, Pencil in uh, space for each of those things, and uh, um, he's coming along swimmingly. Yeah, thanks. Uh, got a nice pair of eyebrows. Do that right now. Here we go. He does. Why do you do the line thing? How do you get him so evenly spaced? Um, like on the mustache. On the mustache, like just the hash mark lines. Yeah, you're just a like skirt. Oh, well, you know, when I draw that in, it's just. Just practice, I guess. They're spaced mm. so nicely. Yeah. Just here. There you go. More lines, just like that. Yeah. We'll do that again. Um, and then work on the hair just a little bit here. Got a pretty nice hairstyle. I think he's. I think he's recently gone with the beard. I mean, we we just recently got introduced to to uh, Nate here, and uh, it seems like he's recently gone with his look. Like he got a makeover or something for his Netflix special. Because before he did not have a beard. Anyway, he's looking, he's looking good. He's, a, he's, he's a handsome, looking good. Handsome guy. So, anyway, the kind of the space underneath his eyes is really important. We don't want him to look like he's like lack of sleep or like old. But, but uh, also yes. But also yeah yeah he's got really dark kind of shadow underneath his eye. Uh, really cool kind of mustache that kind of fills that whole space over his uh, lips all the way up to his nose, which is kind of cool. You see that in his picture. Pencil that in. He's looking pretty happy. Looking right at us. Um, talk to me about. Uh, so we just watched his special. Was it last night? Yeah. And then you missed the other special. We gotta catch you up on that. No, but come what, on. what was some of the uh, jokes that you thought was pretty funny? I liked how he kept mentioning the helicopters. Oh, that wasn't right even above. part of his skit. Yeah. But there was just <laughs> helicopters, and I was like, "This is the land we live in." Yeah. And I like how he stopped. 
that was kind of, I don't know, it was just funny how he kept noticing the helicopters and like, he's like, guys, guys, do you hear that? Yeah. And I'm all like, no, you're just crazy. And then he was like, you guys think I'm crazy. And I'm like, I know. I think it's pretty cool when you're a comedian, you've got your set, it's obviously rehearsed, but it's, it's known so well that you can, like if there's a helicopter, or maybe there's like someone with a funny laugh or something crazy happening happens and everyone can experience that together and then you've got this comedian that can just like off the cuff just like be way funny about it right yeah. so anyway that's why comedians are heroes comedians are heroes in this day and age <laughs> why they, don't got, we... they got a hard job can you imagine no would you ever want to be a stand-up comedian i could though i think you could that's the thing i, I think it'd be super hard um I don't know if I'd want to try it. Like, no, because I don't. I want people to laugh when I'm funny. So, like, if I'm not funny, I can just pretend I didn't say anything. But if you're a stand-up comedian, you you have to just be funny. Yeah. And if you're not, sure. you know right away. Yeah, instant feedback, right? <laughs> yeah, that's for sure true. True, true, true. What do you think of this guy's beard? It's a nice-looking beard. Some people have some good beards. I wonder if I ever grew a beard if I would grow one. I think I'd grow one like this guy, probably. Have you ever grown a beard? No. Why not? Um, I, I just don't have patience. Like, if I, if you could grow a beard within a day, I'd be like, yeah, I'll try that. You know, but like to grow a beard, have it fill in and stuff. I mean, it's gotta be. It's gotta be several time. days at least. <laughs> several days. I mean, I'll, I'll go a week without shaving. And just be like, what have I done to myself? You know, like I gotta shave that off. I'm just not patient. So. Anyway, back to the hair. We'll just pencil that in just so you can kind of get an indication of uh, the direction of each of these hairs, where they're going. And what do you think? It's looking pretty, I'm liking it. I hope you like it too. If you do, like and subscribe. Right? Oh, that should make you laugh. It made me laugh That's so hard. Want. Okay, whatever. We'll just pencil in a little shadow. The shadowing underneath, like the chin and stuff, super important. Anytime you're drawing a face, okay? Pay attention to those kind of Otherwise shadows. Otherwise, it doesn't look like they have a face. Or, yeah, it just looks like they're less dimensional, I guess. So. I like how I'm saying stuff as if I know what I'm talking about. Like, well, look you, at that you very defined you, circle. You're the kind of person that, like, I don't see you pick up a pencil and draw, but, like, if I ever say, hey, draw this, like, you do a pretty good job. Thanks. So. Anyway. I was drawing people yesterday. I drew Pete Joshua when he was sad. Oh, that's good. We'll, we'll have you draw this as well. Oh, no. and, uh, and we'll show the world what it turned out to be. The world um, will love it. As you, as you draw it. Okay. At the end of this video, we'll actually have you show your results. Stay tuned, guys. Okay. Good. Good, good. You can see now I've uh, ditched my, my lighter color in for kind of a, a dark pen, right? And uh, it's because I was feeling comfortable with where all the strokes were, and now I'm I'm going for it. I'm putting these in. They're going to be final, and uh, all the shading will just kind of be a little cross hatched until we fill it in with some blocks of color later. You'll we'll see. And uh, yeah, just make these nice little strokes for these lines. How do you draw noses? That's a good question. Uh, I, I'm always looking when I draw a nose, I'm looking at the tip of the nose. I'm looking if it's angled downward or upward. And uh, and then just trying to figure out like what the angles are for the nose, right? Um, yeah, it's it's a it's a challenge. Every every single person you draw has a nose, right? I mean, unless you're drawing Voldemort, right? <laughs> Because he so, doesn't have a nose. No, you still have to figure out the proportion, so where to put it. For sure. Snake face. And, but just like I said with the chin, like under the nose, there's going to be a shadow. And you notice that I just put that shadow in there underneath his nose. Um, so that, that helps. Um, and when someone's smiling as well, let's just add this uh, as, I'm, as I'm putting these things in. When someone's smiling, their, their cheeks move upward and, uh, and it kind of affects the lines around their eyes. So he's got some really distinct lines around his eyes because he's smiling. You're going to definitely want to make those somewhat prominent. And uh, I think we'll like the result. There we go. And hopefully we fit these in so he doesn't look sleepy. If he looks sleepy, then we're not doing our job. He looks happy. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Nate? Are you listening? Are you watching? 
Hopefully. Leave a comment. <laughs> Leave a comment. <laughs> Leave a comment in the video. <laughs> I Post can't this. with all this comment talk. I think it's Here so we go. funny. Now, these are, so I really like to try and connect my lines uh, to facial features. So you see, I'm trying to connect lines that uh, descend all the way from the forehead down to features in the face. You see on the left side, I connected kind of that uh, skull area to like cheekbone and it just provides a little bit of extra flow. Uh, we'll, let me finish this up with the hair real quick and then I'll uh, attempt to do kind of the same thing with uh, this cheek here, kind of connect that up. So not super connected, but you can see how I attempted at least to do that. Um, I, 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 think, I think subtracting that line was a good choice. We're gonna just go back to the hair here. All right, let's fill that in. Oh, like how you changed the hairline. Yeah. That was a bold move. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Very, <laughs> very bold. So I'll just stroke that in just to get the indication of where the hair's going. I like to, you know, make this cartoony. Uh, I'm really playing with the angles here. Um, down by his, uh, his chin, especially uh, his beard, making that kind of uh, like an angle rather than like a, a curve. I think that's just adding to kind of the, the goofiness of his uh, presence, kind of making you want to laugh as you look at it, right? I'm laughing so hard right now. That's good. <laughs> He's a comedian, I'm a comedian. We'll get through this together. Would you be a comedian? Uh, it would be hard, but you know, what's the difference between a comedian and just like putting yourself out there and, and uh, putting your drawings out there? I mean. Um, there's a lot. No. Oh, different. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're probably right. Um, we're going to give him a microphone here just because he's a stand-up comedian. This is his tool of the trade. Creative license. Yeah. It's like his... This is his wand. Like if he was a wizard. If he was a his, wizard. His microphone is like his Harry Potter wand, would you say? No... So he's in a pretty good place. We'll just add a little bit of shade here. I'm gonna dial back the earlier layer so I can just make sure that this dark line is covering all the territory it needs to. And then as I do in most of my sketches, I'm gonna just do a dark outline around the whole subject. Make him stand off of uh, the background. Uh, which I'll add later. Why did you choose a peach background? Because uh, he's peachy. Okay. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I'm just, I didn't want it to be boring lighting, so I chose peach. And, uh, and you can still see the sketch on top of it. So there we go. Finish up that little outline around everything. Now, I'm drawing this in Photoshop, so um, I'm just going to add this here real quick. But um, when I uh, fill this in, that dark outline is going to allow me to basically select the whole section and then just fill it with what I call medium gray. And uh, this is a, a pretty cool uh, technique that I'll get to. I'm gonna, I just gotta do these eyes really quick, these little shadows here. Just draw those in, make sure it doesn't look like giant eyebrows, <laughs> just like eyeshadow or shadows underneath the eyes. Eyeshadow. There you go. What color of eyeshadow do you think you would choose? Uh, I don't think you would choose eyeshadow, actually. Why not? Uh, I just don't think that that's part of his routine. <laughs> He's not that kind of comedian. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that kind of comedian. It's just not his jam. So he's gonna do, he's gonna not have do his way differently. That. I'm gonna add a little bit of a shadow to the forehead here. Uh, some longer strokes, very thin. I don't want him to distract. There. What do you think? He looks like a person. Did I get the likeness down? You think, or yes? Okay. Plus, it's that's the right but answer. it's exaggerated. It, yeah, of course. But that's the point. That's the point. That's the whole point. So sometimes I don't exaggerate enough. I think this is maybe a happy place to be. Yes. So. Places. We'll just fill this in where this jacket is. And 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go to work on uh, basically selecting my subject and uh, filling that in with a middle gray. And the reason why I do that is um, so then I can uh, push the shadows and pull the highlights, okay? But we rather than start from just white or from kind of the color that we were at, uh, we'll start from the middle and, and uh, see where we can go from there. So I'm gonna start with pushing the shadows. Uh, I'll adjust the opacity on my brush so it's not super dark. Just kind of kind of go over these places that I've kind of already indicated with some of the hash marks um, but really just any shadowing that I see in uh, his face I'm gonna just make sure to make that little shadow plus the areas that I know are gonna be dark like the beard and mustache here uh, that place underneath his nose will eventually get underneath his chin and we'll just fill that in with uh, some some shadow in there the eyes the eyebrows He's got some gray in his hair, so when we do the hair, we won't go like full on, like dark. We'll leave some streaks uh, that are lighter, and then also when we go in with our, our light, we'll add some highlights. <coughs> One of his jokes that was really funny to me um, yesterday had to do with, um, well, there was the dead horse. Did you hear that one? Is that the special that you, were, that you were... I've probably gone for that one, because I think he might have referred to it, or there was something he referred to that I would get. Uh, then let me, let me mention something that you heard last night. That was the one that was outdoor with the helicopters. Yeah, we watched... Uh, he was talking about... Um, wasn't he talking about the um, getting uh, a coffee with cream in it? Is that the special you watched? I don't think so. Am I mixing these up? Oh, this is terrible. Tell me what you remember. You said you remember the helicopters. That was all... What else do I remember from it? You talked about kids. Yeah. He does have. He talked about the fight when his <laughs> with his wife. When they were okay. fighting about what were they fighting about? Oh, the word. The word. The word. What was the phrase? It was uh, one fell swoop. One fell swoop, <laughs> which I thought the argument was going to be whether yes. it's one fell swoop. Or one foul, one foul swoop. swoop. Yeah, it was not. It was not that. It was just that. the meaning of one fell swoop. Because he paints this picture of like, I just want to visit family and get it done in one fell swoop. And he's like, that's cool. And then and then his wife said, so this is my plan. I think we should do this, this, this. And then come home, rest, and then go do this. And he's all, that's not one fell swoop. <laughs> it's one day. Well, anyway. Oh, that was pretty funny. Here we are uh, doing a little bit of highlights. You can see uh, it just went right into the teeth and the eyes and just made them pretty much white. Uh, added some highlights to the microphone area. This is usually like my favorite part because it's kind of where it kind of comes to life a little bit more. Where just a little bit more pops. So kind of fun. Get into just doing some subtle highlights here on the cheeks. Why didn't you choose to draw his AirPod? Well, yeah, in the reference, he's got an AirPod there. I um, don't know why he's got an AirPod there. I wanted to kind of make this look like he was on stage, you know, with his um. microphone, so he wouldn't be wearing an AirPod, which to me is still a picture of dumb dumb suckers hanging out someone's beard when I see those. <laughs> so that's why. Why? Because that's kind of what it looks like to me. Well, final, final couple of uh, areas of highlight. Uh, we'll do that with uh, really very opaque white. Add some uh, gray to the beard a little bit here. A little highlight. <clears throat> I'm really excited to see how yours uh, finishes up too. This is... Oh no. It'll be exciting. Add some... Add some Called hash marking. Yeah, just some hash marks. Just some series of lines. I'm intelligent. You are. Department issues. You are. We are just about done here. This came together pretty quick. Uh, and uh, I think you like it. I'm sure he gets.
pictures drawn of him all the time. Should we go for the final reveal? Yes. Final reveal. Put him in the background of the stage, and there he is. Thank you for a getsy. Got some smoke. Yeah. A little bit of uh, stage smoke. There's yours. Looks good. Oh, it's so gorgeous, Way to go. actually. Thank you. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining me today. Have fun. I did. Okay, good. We'll see you around for the next one. Okay, bye. Later. <laughs>